What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video by Cupacoto1. Today's video is going out to one of our viewers, Jeff, who was having a hard time wrapping his head around this particular piece of code here that you see on the screen. So something we're going to do is we're going to go through this and I'm going to do it by hand, not how the computer does it, but how the computer sees it. But I just want to quickly show you what it is that we're actually trying to output. So here I have a floating window of just the output here. This code here is going to produce this letter X that's written down by the asterisk, by the stars that we have here. So the whole thing was how the heck did we get it aligned like this and how did we print it out? And all of this code here, it can seem a little bit confusing at first glance. So now that we know what it's gonna produce, and before I go through this, I just wanna kinda of give you an idea of what it is that the computer is doing. So with that being said, um, I just want to quickly, can we get the debug ready? We can. All right, so let's jump to console here. I'm gonna bring you over to the side here, my friend. And we're gonna F8 through this. So quickly we can see that X is just a variable that has an empty string, nothing, nothing crazy there. And then uh, for row, we have a for loop, for row and range zero to seven. So of course, this is gonna be zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, because we don't include the actual seven, but we have seven values, but starting at zero is the first value. And then we have another for loop inside that first for loop, which is for column in range, also zero to seven. So right now in memory, the computer has a variable X and it has, it's counting row zero, column zero. And then it's gonna run through this big block of code that you see here. And immediately look what happened, it jumped down to x equals x plus a space. So this is just going to now print a space. You see these two quotation marks up here? Watch what happens. When I F8 through that, it made a space in here, which means based on this code, it none of this was true. If it was true, it would have printed the asterisk. So something in here, when nothing was true, it was false. So then it jumped down to the else statement and the else was print a space. So what I want you to see is we printed a space before I show this by hand. And when I F8 through this, we went row zero, column one. Now I wanted you just to see that difference, row zero, column one, and then I'm gonna F8 this. It's just gonna say row zero, column two. Where are we? F8, row zero, column two, row zero, column three, four, five, row zero, column six, row zero, column six. Now, there we go, one, zero. Now it's row one, column one, row one, column two, one, four, one, five, one, six, and same thing, two, zero, two, one, two. And you can see the computer, the way it's seeing is it's going row by row. And as it gets in each row, then it's doing the columns. So let me just quickly show exactly what the heck is going on. So let me bring up this program, Leonardo. We're gonna use this to do some drawing today. Um, so let me get on the board here, here we go. I'm going to, let's pick a brush. Now bear with me, this is one of the first times I'm using this program, so I rather suck at it. So what we're gonna do is I'm going to, if I can get on the board here, yep, that was a great way to intro, all right. We're going to do, um, actually I can make this smaller. Let's go, let's try a two. If I go um, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's our range seven for the rows, right? Now to do our columns, I need a corresponding zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. So what I want you to kind of get now is this idea that the computer is almost gonna see this as a grid, if you will. So when the first time we went through the code, the computer was on four row or four, yeah, four row in range zero to seven. So then it goes memory, bam, range zero to seven for the rows, four row, and then first we're gonna do column zero. So it's saying, what do you want me to put in here? And then after we go through the code and we figure out what it is that it wants, then it's gonna say, okay, now row zero, column one, row zero, column two, row zero, column three, and it's gonna go all through row one and when it finally fulfills the condition for row zero, column six, then it's gonna jump down to row one. And then it's gonna do column zero, it's gonna do one zero, one one, one two, one three, one four, and so on. So let's see what actually happens in these rows here. So if we were at a row, I don't even need this right now. 
So just looking at the code, forget all this right here, we can see we had a space. So if we were at zero, zero, looking at the code here, and I'm going to show you how I got to this point. I didn't just sit here and write this, but one of the conditions have to be true. So we have if column is equal to one, well, it's not, we said we're at zero, zero, or column is equal to five. So right now this is false and doesn't make a difference. We're already at false, so it's not going to happen. Or row equals column. Well, that's true because we're zero, zero. And column is less is greater than zero. Well, that's false. So we have to go out of that one. Or column equals four and but column doesn't. It's, it's equal to zero in my example because we're doing zero, zero right now. So that's false. So all of these conditional statements were false. All these or statements were false. So therefore, if this whole if block is false, it can't run here. It's got to go to my else block. And my else block says print a space. So it printed a space. That was what that first space was. And then it went row zero column one. So now we go if column equals one. Yeah, that's true. And row is greater than four or row is less than two. That's true. Because if row is zero, it's less than two. So that part's true. And in here we have a true statement of column equals to one. So it's true and true. So therefore this piece of the block made our second part true. And so since this conditional part was true, then it goes to the next part of the loop, which was x equals x plus the star. So in that x was the empty list, now we're printing a star. And then it's gonna go back up and go back into the loop, and then it's gonna do zero, two. So that's what it's doing. Now I'm gonna show you by hand though, how I pretty much came to that, that conclusion, if you will. So here we are. We don't even need all this, right? So when I was going through the code now, when I found when I was at zero, zero, that was false. So therefore, uh, a, you know, nothing was printed here. There was a space here. There was nothing here. Let's let's do this. Let's do am I doing this right? Oh, hot damn. And let's make this larger because now I almost can't see it. All right. So this was do do do. This was a space, so it printed nothing here. But when I got to row zero, column one, I did hit a true statement. So since I hit a true statement, it printed the asterisk. And then the next statement I got to, it was a space again, and then it would have been a space again, and I believe this would have been a space again, and then I would have when I got to row zero, a condition for co uh, column five, I would have got a true statement inside my if loop, and then it would have printed out the asterisk. And then six would have been, I believe, a space again. Now, when that was done, then it would have went down to row one. And when it was doing row one, you can pretty much surmise that we're going to end up putting an asterisk here and here, which is row one, column two, row one, column four which means when I'm doing the code for this row number one, I just wanna make sure everything is aligned properly. All right, when I'm doing the code for, for, this, for this line here, what I'm doing is, is I'm saying, I need, what do I need essentially? So in this one here, I wanna print an asterisk at row zero column one and column five. So that's my that's going to be my first conditional piece here. And then for row one, I want to print at column two and column four in my example that I'm doing here. Now after I go through this whole image and I sit here and I've drawn out exactly where I'm going to want all of my asterisks so that I can actually produce my X, that's when I come along and then I write the corresponding code for each row. And then after I have all the all of the pieces that I need, then I sit down and I start to write and or statements. So if row is I could have done if row equals equals zero, that would have put it there and column equals one or column equals five, print the star. Anything else would have been a space. I could have done that. And that just would have been a much longer piece of code. So to prevent all of that code, what you'll find yourself doing is you'll write conditional statements 
and then you're going to start to see how you can packet things together. And that's all I did in this if loop. I went by hand and I drew out everything that I needed and then I start to create the code for it and then I start to see how can I package all of this code together. So that's where I have my I, I want column one and five, right? Here we go, column one, column five. So if column equals one or column equals five, column equals one or column five, when do I want to print? I want to print that when row is zero and in this example here when row is three, but that's not accurate for what I'm doing. I want to do that when row is greater than four, so four, five, six, or row is less than two. So that's why it's, so it's going to be printing two in those columns. So again, when I run it, Sure enough, look, I, I can already, I already know this is going to be column number one, and this is going to be column number five, column one, column five, and yeah, if row is, le is greater than four, well here, this is going to be greater than four, greater than four, that's going to be five and six, or row is less than two, that's going to be one, that's going to be zero. So this is all I was doing in, to, to get this actual object. Um, but again, don't think you're going to get it right off the bat, even when I did the letter S, a simple space in my empty list was screwing me up and I was getting it uh, almost looking like a, a weird E. Uh, it wasn't until I sat there and I started to debug it that I realized, oh my God, I forgot a space and then it, it jumped everything over. But that was just by trial and error. So um, let me know if this helped at all, Jeff, uh, and anybody else. And if it does, um, I think it was uh, Udacity for their AI uh, artificial intelligence nano degree. They had a piece of Python code and they wanted to know what the output was. And anybody can plug the code in and get the output and have an answer. But I wanted to go by hand, uh, just like I did here, and create the answer. And um, and then convert that answer into code and then see if I was able to get it that way. Uh, so again, let me know if this was helpful, guys. And um, if so, please subscribe, thumbs up, so I know we're going in the right direction. And uh, I hope you all have an excellent day. Take it easy.